What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular. Today I've got another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be unboxing Unforgiven, which is the second Japanese single for La Seraphim. Um, so this one uh, comes in a couple different versions. So basically, like I said, this is a CD single that has the Japanese versions of Unforgiven, Anti-Fragile, and it has an exclusive um, song called Jewelry. Um, that's brand new, exclusive to this, that's in Japanese. So um, this is actually their second Japanese single. Like I said, um, this one that you see here is actually limited edition B. So there's a standard version, it's just regular. There's limited edition A that has different artwork um, and it has slightly more photos. So the photo booklet is bigger. Um, but this one is limited edition B which has the CD single, and it has a DVD with it, which is exclusive to this limited edition. Um, and it has the making of the jacket photos for um, both of the concepts for the Japanese single and the making of the Unforgiven Japanese music video, which is actually different from the original one. So I'm mainly going to be showing you limited edition B here today. So just taking a look here, there are, uh, there is basically one main sticker on the outside here, and that's right here. So I will zoom that in in case you're curious. It just has some kind of info about what's on it and things like that. Everything else is either on the OB strip or on the um, case itself here. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the plastic wrap, and then I'll kind of show you the packaging, the detailing. Um, and we'll look at the actual discs themselves. Um, you can, uh, you can also stream this on Spotify and stuff right now. So if you just want to listen to the new track or anything like that, um, this is, this, uh, these three songs are now available on Spotify too. So this does actually come with an OB strip, which is a typical feature of Japanese releases where it's kind of an extra little, um, strip of packaging that comes on the spine. And it usually just has a little couple extra bits of information here. So there's the detail of the OB strip. Limited edition B is known as the Savage Noir version because it's kind of got this like almost black and white, but it's more like black and silver um, sort of aesthetic to it. So this one is called the Savage Noir version. Um, so here is the artwork with the OB strip on. So yeah, like I said, it's not like metallic, but um, the silver part kind of has a little bit of a sort of um, shiny kind of sheen to it. Um, and then the back, so on the back of the OB strip is a La Seraphim logo at the top. And then you have the UPC code right there. And the spine just has kind of the basic info on it. And then the inside of the OB strip, Looks like this, the Seraphim with the logo, and then it has some details about kind of an unlockable thing there. So what I usually do is I usually actually save the OB strips. I would recommend that if you're buying these Japanese albums, because sometimes um, if you ever sell them or anything in the future, or just if you just want to keep, you know, a complete copy, um, you can usually slip the OB strip in the actual CD case and um, keep it forever. So that's usually what I recommend doing. So here is the case without the OB strip. Everybody looking really cool there. So the spine is essentially the same. It's just a little bit more clean. It doesn't have like the info about the addition and the discs and stuff. And here is the back Savage Noir right there. And this is all the information about the DVD. It says it's all region, which is nice, that it's in a 16 by nine. And it usually comes in um, Japanese stereo, and if we're lucky, it'll have English subtitles. Sometimes these Japanese um, DVDs from, like, Hybe uh, don't come with English subtitles. So just keep that in mind. This is actually designed for the Japanese market. So very often, Japanese releases, like DVDs and stuff, won't have English subtitles. So just keep that in mind. But... Um, just wanted to kind of show you here. So the photo kind of like wraps around to the top. The little Seraphim logo there and it kind of wraps around to the bottom as well. So the CD case itself comes in this nice little slip. 
sleeve here that is also, it looks like kind of grayish silver on the inside too, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, the extra sleeve kind of makes it look very nice. It, oh, and the artwork and stuff is very different too on the inside. So here's the actual disc case itself. And it's got kind of this like white, but with like silver spray paint sort of look to it, which is cool. The spine is sort of metallic silver here. Got little Seraphim Unforgiven on the spine right there. Same thing on this spine. Here is the back of the CD case. Again, going with sort of the like pseudo shiny silver look. And here is the inside. So let's take a look at the uh, booklet here first. Let's see here. I'm trying to be careful getting the booklet out here. There you go. So here is the booklet. And again, it's got this, oh, photo card. <laughs> it's got this cool like spray paint design to it. So you can see when I run the light over it, the silver is kind of a little bit shiny, which is cool. So there's the front and the back of the booklet here. So this one is mostly lyrics. We do get one group photo here on the inner cover, and then you get all the lyrics in Japanese. And then you get credits for all the songs, um, and credits for the album, links to all their social media, all that good stuff. So yeah, as you can see, this version only has literally, other than the photo on the cover, um, only has one photo on the inner book. The limited edition A has more photos in the book. It just doesn't have a DVD. So kind of depends on what it, what you like here. So Oh, we have unit photos. That's so cool. So it's got some flavor text on the back. Standard photo card size and quality. Glossy, that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> Chaewon looks really funny here. <laughs> I like that. I like that uh, that pose there. See so yeah, that's cool. They have unit cards. I like that a lot. I kind of like that sometimes better than um, just like individual cards. Because sometimes, you know, an individual card doesn't have, you know, necessarily what you're looking for or somebody you want. But with unit cards, you have a better chance of getting, um, getting something that uh, is funny or uh, that you think is cool. So I like that a lot. I'm actually going to pull this out one more time, if I can, <laughs> if it's even possible. This thing really gets like, um, it really kind of like st is static stuck to the, uh, to the plastic here. So yeah, mainly what I needed to do was to put, so in addition to all that, you get this as well, which is basically like a Japanese, um, like a uh, survey thing or it unlocks something on uh, their Japanese record label site. So you do get that as well. I'm actually we're just going to put that right back there and put this here. And then as far as the OB strip goes, what I usually do, I just kind of flatten it out here. And then, oh man, it usually is small enough that it fits in there. Um, that it fits like this, but this one is a little bit too big. Um, so I'll find another way to stick that in there. I'll probably maybe put it uh, in the slip case or something. But if you want to see the discs themselves, this is the CD. So this is the actual album. And then if you have the DVD version, if you have this edition, this tray comes up and you flip it and there's the DVD. I'm kind of wondering if some people buy this and never realize that there's a DVD uh, in there. Does this fit in there? No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, it does fit that way. Maybe I can put it in that way. But yeah, um, I bet a lot of people buy this and don't even know that like the tray opens up and there's a DVD on the other side. So there you go, kind of a reverse color scheme going on with that. So yeah, let me see if I can slide this in this way. I think it'll fit this way. Yeah, there we go. So with this one, because the OB strip's a little bit extra long, um, you can put it in like this, kind of make sure it's in the little holder there. Then boom like that. 
then you can put it in like so. And there you go. Um, that is La Seraphim's new Japanese single. Thanks so much for watching this. Uh, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like La Seraphim, um, let me know what your favorite La Seraphim song is in the comments below. Uh, you can also find unboxings for all of their previous albums, their light stick, all that kind of stuff on my channel. Just check out my playlists. Um, this unboxing will be in a playlist with other La Seraphim unboxings as well. So if you're into anything like that or if you just collect K-pop hype stuff, go ahead and click subscribe so that way you don't miss any of my future content. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll catch you next time.